Hello duelists, it's been a while since I've said that, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, welcome back to the Crown Corp channel. My name is Bram, and today I need to talk about something important, the Smart Duel project. I've been thinking about it for a while now, and I've made the difficult decision to discontinue the Smart Duel project, at least in its current form. Now, before anyone gets worried, this isn't the end, it's more of a new beginning, you could say. The goal was always to work with mixed reality headsets. That was the dream from day one. Those weren't available when I started working on this project, so I decided to make two different mobile applications instead. And let me tell you, managing multiple software projects at the same time has always been a challenge. And if that wasn't already complicated enough, I also started looking into making a physical dual disc, or at least a physical playmat, I suppose. And I also wanted to branch out to different card games. I think I tried to do too many things at once and I just spread myself too thin. I also made things unnecessarily complicated for the players of the game. Think about it, you needed two phones to use the system, one for the Smart Dual Disc and another for the Smart Dual Gazer. That's already a big ask. Then there were other issues, like no proper matchmaking for online play, you couldn't build your deck in the app itself, and you had to play the game manually, unlike games like Master Duel where everything is automated. But there's also some good news, I've gotten a promotion at work and it's actually aligned perfectly with where I want to take this project. I'm still mainly doing mobile app development, but I've also been working with the Apple Vision Pro and the MetaQuest 3. And that's where the future of this project lies. I'm actually going to start working on a new version of the Smart Duel project for the MetaQuest 3. We're gonna start from a clean slate and this is a whole new beginning for the project. I have been doing some small experiments with the MetaQuest 3 in the past, so I'm kind of getting the hang of developing for this device. I'm actually working on a project for the MetaQuest 3 right now in my private time that helps people learn Japanese. I hope that's something you'd be interested in. I'm probably going to show it off in one of my next videos, so definitely stay tuned for that. I want to be honest with you all, these past months haven't been easy. I struggled with the motivation, constantly questioning if I was good enough to pull this off. And there were multiple times when I felt like I hadn't actually accomplished anything. Like I was just disappointing people who believed in this project. But here's the thing, even after all this time, making Yu-Gi-Oh! come to life is still my dream. It's something I won't give up on, ever. And this isn't me giving up. It's me taking a step back, learning from what didn't work, and then coming back stronger. The Smart Jewel project isn't dying, it's evolving. And I hope you'll stick around to see what comes next. I'm going to go at my own pace and keep it simple. The most important thing for me is that I'm having fun while working on this project. Otherwise, I will probably start struggling again. I did, however, set a goal for myself to upload three more videos in the near future. I want to upload a new video every other week. These videos don't have to be anything major, they don't have to be shocking, just some small updates about the work that I'm doing with Mixed Reality. I've never been consistent with my uploads on YouTube, and that is something I would like to change, starting now. Thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.